Welcome back to episode 5 of the Pokemon Renegade Platinum Hardcore Nuzlocke. We are currently in Eterna City. We had a couple of boss battles last episode. We sadly lost a couple of Pokemon, including our Matang, but we will persevere and move on. Uh, we will hopefully get our second uh, gym badge today. We'll take on the Eterna City Grass Gym. We do have to do a couple of things first. We have a few more encounters that uh, should be really good Pokemon. And yeah, it should be a fun time. So thanks for watching if you're here. Okay, right, let's go out to the mansion. All right, here's our encounter. We're going to get Rotom. Hmm, sounds like someone. Oh, wait, I didn't realize we caught it. Nice. Well, okay, we caught um, Rotom. You can see Electric and Ghost. Uh, so what we're doing here, though, we're getting some fossils. And we cannot keep all of them. I'm like, for now, we're going to keep them all. Um, I'm only going to keep one, but we're going to go to a scientist who, basically, if you give him a fossil, he'll revive it to the actual Pokemon. So there's our Dactyl. Definitely one of the top options. Plus, Attack on Tony, I think, is just too good, even even though it doesn't have the best ability. Or, not Tony, Stone. I, th I think we're going to go with Stone. We'll take Stone. Now, we could get a Pokemon here, but basically this route is split into two parts. So there's the west side that we're at now, and then there's the east side, and in between that is a mountain. And on the east side, there are some better encounters than what's here, so I don't want to have any of those encounters yet. But yeah, I'm going to save that. There is an encounter within the mountain that uh, pretty much have to get a very good encounter, a uh, good water type. But we'll find this hiker first with a Geodude. Oh, that's sad. It just reminds me of the Geodude that we lost in the last battle. Rest in peace, the boulder. Wow, so another Pokemon that we lost. This guy has two Pokemon that two of the three Pokemon we lost we are having to fight. It's pretty rude, honestly, if you ask me. Man, and another... So that means the past two battles, we've seen all three, at least variations of all three of our Pokemon that we've lost. So I think the move is to try to get the Bagon here, even though not having much legs for now would suck, but I know there's a chance to get it later. And again, it's like a low chance of even getting that, so it probably doesn't matter, but... We're gonna try. Okay, moment of truth. And we get my chop. Yeah. Not Bagon. Even a fully evolved the champ, I don't think we would need throughout this game. But we do catch my chop, so I mean, not gonna be mad about it. So we're gonna use the old rod, and we're going to get our encounter here. Um, it's gonna be probably one of our, as long as it doesn't die, a Pokemon that'll make it very far in the run for us, which is Phoebus. Now, obviously, uh, it does not look very menacing, but it's going to evolve into a very good water slash fairy type called Milotic. Okay, so the dive ball should catch it, and we do. Nice. Oh, do we have one? Finally, we get the Sneasel. Nice. Okay. I think Aerial Ace is perfectly fine to just attack. It's not going to kill. Ah, we almost had it on the first try. Let's try another one. Okay, it's still breaking free. Just throw another Pokeball, I guess. That's all I can really do. One shake and it's out. Here's Pokeball. We may not be able to catch it. Please just go in. I'm starting to get nervous that something's going to happen. We legit might just have to run away from this because it's just gonna keep trying to kill our Pokemon. Okay, if we stay in and it's using an ice move and it crits, we could lose Stoner, we could lose Blue. The other ones are low health where I don't feel comfortable. Even if we did switch into them, what's it gonna do? I hate to say it, but I'm just gonna run away. We're not gonna get a Sneasel. Oh, I accidentally ran into this person. Okay, well, shouldn't be too bad. I mean, we're all healed up and everything. Surely nothing that bad can happen. The Ace Shredder Blake has a poor gun. Oh, that actually is a little concerning. But it's normal type, so Brick Break should be more than enough here. Two shot, if not one shot. Okay, there's the one shot, yeah. Porygon can be pretty good, though, in the right matchup. We actually will get a chance to get a Porygon later. Now comes Vigoroth, and again, we'll resist pretty much anything it has, so we can just Brick Break. Nice one shot of the Vigoroth. Easy dub. Okay, now you're probably wondering 
what is that on the screen and it's because my swallow is free poison um, basically with swallow as his ability guts you see here if they boost attack if it's a status problem literally doubles its attack stat so if it's poison it's just super broken because it has double attack basically first battle let's go ahead and start i don't even know what she has but i mean they all have grass type so surely i actually i think one of my runs i did lose i got single pokemon to this before so yeah we can just aerial ace and this should one shot pretty easily yeah i don't know i'll figure that out Okay, yeah, we're probably just gonna sweep through this. Maybe it's only every other turn, I don't know. I don't know the mechanics of it all. Yeah, this should be uh, not too much of a challenge. At least these first few. But also has good physical defense, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Might not be... Oh, okay, so I did not one shot. I mean, whatever they have shouldn't... Um... Shouldn't do too much. It was a weed bro. Okay, that's right. I mean, Aerially should do a lot. Okay, nice. I probably need to lay off though because level caps 26. And I don't. If I just one shot all of these, I'll probably go over that with Swallow. So uh, it doesn't know anything. It might know takedown, but that's yeah. Guts Guts Swallow is very nice. Level 24. Okay, I'm probably gonna not use this in the next trainer battle. But yeah, let's go ahead and do the old rod here. I believe we can get a Dratini or a Poliwag, both of which would be pretty good. Let's see what we get. Okay, I already got Magikarp, so we, that's Dupes Claws. We don't have to catch it. Unbound is another solid choice. I've heard of Unbound. Oh, okay, there's a Dratini. We will definitely um, try to catch that. So I don't know how great it is in this game, because honestly, like, I, I really don't know. Um, let's see if we catch it. Ah, barely escapes. Darn. <sighs> okay. I guess I could leech seed, but I just don't want to risk it, you know, potentially dying. That'd be super sad. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Dive ball should work because it's in the water. Should be better, right? Maybe it's because it's not a water type, technically. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to leech seed and just start lowering some of its health because it's getting annoying. I mean, I know I'm thinking ahead of myself. Hopefully, I don't want to. I'm not playing, planning on losing this run, but um, finally, okay. After like 20 Pokeballs, we finally get Dratini. Okay, we have some Evermore Inferno, Fake Up, Flame Wheel, Mach Punch, Taunt. We have Barry, the Beach Joe with Aerial Ace, Pin Missile, Poison Jab, Talk to Spikes. We have Blue, the Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, with Sleep Powder, Sludge, Magical Leaf, Leech Seed. We have Cripster, the Crobat with Poison Fang, Leech Life, Crunch, Aerial Ace. And we have Bird, the Swallow with Double Team, Reversal, Quick Attack, and Aerial Ace. Uh, okay, last one, we have Envy the Umbron with Wish, Confuse Ray, Crunch, and Covet. Alright, here we go. GM battle number two, let's get it. Okay, so Velocity comes out first. We send out Monferno first. We're going to fake out, get a little chip damage, make a flinch. Okay, now it's going to want to do Stun Spore or a status move, so we're going to taunt. Can I use Sense for? Okay, so now it's going to want to use Dazzling Gleam. So we're going to switch into Cripster. It's going to resist fairy moves. There's the Dazzling Gleam. Shouldn't do too much damage. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to check items. I guess we're going to have to roll with those because I completely forgot like an idiot. Okay, um, Poison Fang, as long as it doesn't miss, should kill. If not, do a lot of damage. No, I was way off. Okay, that sucks. That's fine. Uh, we can Leech Life this, though, and then get some of the health back. Because Leech Life... It's your potion. Okay, that's fine. Leech Life should still do, like, half. No, okay. I, I guess not. I just don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, well, I'm assuming it's going to want to use Stun Spore, then. It's going to want to use Stun Spore, but if we switch into Swallow, it can't do anything, and we should outspeed. Yeah, okay. We'll switch into Swallow. Hopefully it's Stun Spores. If it does, like, Teeter Dance, that could be bad. Okay, Stun Spore. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, Aerial Ace, I think, should kill this, especially with double attack. Okay, cool. So we escape out of that without too much of a problem. And we'll get level 27 now, so he's going to learn Flamethrower, which is perfect. 
I forgot to put um, a chest of berry on blue because it's probably going to try to put us to sleep, but we're going to put in blue because we resist all of Brillo's moves. Yep, there's the Thunder Punch. We get paralyzed. No, that's so bad. At least it can't put us to sleep, though. Okay, Sludge should do a lot of damage. There's Mock Punch. That's fine. Not going to do too much. Oh my god, it crit. No, that's so bad. Okay, Sludge better do a lot then here. Please crit or poison. Oh, let's go. One shot. Perfect. Great job, Ivysaur Blue. Okay, what's going to send out here? Roserade? Yep, there's a Roserade. It's probably going to do extra sensory because we're weak to psychic, so we need to put in our Abby. There's extra sensory. Okay, we're immune to it. Nice. Now, I know it's Dazzling Gleam, so we definitely can't leave it in. I w if I could just get in Swellow, I we outspeed. It's just, I don't think it can live an extra sensory. It can't leave a. Well, no, I don't think it can live a Dazzling Gleam. Okay, I think I need to risk it. I gotta put in Swallow because I'm probably not gonna use it much for many other fights. Uh, I don't have I don't have a good feeling about this. It's not a stab move at least, so like, but it is really good special attack and our special defense is not great. It's crits, dude! It crits. Oh my god! So we actually probably would have lived if it wasn't a crit. You're actually kidding. All of this because I didn't calculate properly on the the Crobat defeating Blossom. We just gotta hope that it won't die to an extra sensory, basically. Fake out. A little bit of chip damage. There's extra sensory. <laughs> well, this is not looking too good. This is what losing Batang does. If we had Batang, this would have been easy. Oh my gosh, it doesn't kill. But yeah, if we still had Batang, this fight would have been so easy. But that was like our one good counter to Roserade. Wow, so if we had done that, we would have kept Monkey. That's really depressing. <sighs> we knock out Roserade. We knock out the two best Pokemon, but we lost one of our best Pokemon. You know what? Let's put in Abby to kind of test what it's going to do. Yeah, the Beedrill was originally in there. I I probably shouldn't have included Beedrill in this first place. I did, definitely did not plan this. Hopefully it's paralyzed and won't even get any moves off on us. Okay, perfect. Oh, okay, that's good, good, good. Aerialize because it won't miss. Yeah, I've... That's, I probably should have had a more sacrificial pivot. My plan was to have Swallow fully healthy, and then it was going to one-shot it because it outsped and had Aerial Ace. But whenever we had lower health and it crit, that just threw off the whole plan. Leaves it with a sliver of health. No. Poison, though. Let's, let's go. Okay. I was going to die on this turn. Awesome. Okay, I think it should just have a Grotto left. Okay, poison jab there. Should do a lot of damage. And there's a one shot. Okay, see. Well, we win, but again, we lost two, but we won. And now we still have some more tough battles coming up um, against King Team Galactic. I mean, to be fair, Blaziken is my favorite Pokemon, so still having the possibility for that's good. It's just not as good as Monferno. Five minutes later. Um, a fire punch should. Oh, and those arrow lace. Oh my god. Am I really this dumb? Oh my god, we really just lost two of our best Pokemon. Okay, another boss fight. Last boss fight we had, we lost two Pokemon, so... Okay, now we can Shockwave because we're speed, and then hopefully... And even if it crits, I don't know if it would kill, but... Actually, it probably would if it... Oh yeah, definitely would crit if it kills. Oh, it does get the Giga Drain off. That's fine, we don't really need Rotom other than for this one, so... Not too worried that we're losing health. Okay, so down goes Golbet. So three down. Sorry, one down, three to go. It's probably going to want to use a Ghost move, right? Yeah, it's going to use Shadow Claw. So we're going to switch in to Abby of Brown. So as long as Play Rip doesn't miss. Okay, good. That should do a lot. It's not going to kill, though. Does about half, yeah. Actually, no, we don't have to play rough because Crunch will do the job and it's guaranteed to not, well, 100 accuracy. Okay, then we get Wish to restore health. Alright, so here's Skuntank. 
it's going to want to do Poison Jab. So let's switch into Ratatouille. I'm going to do a Swords Dance. And then we'll do Bone Rush. I think Brick Break would kill. So that's 100 accuracy. So let's just do that. Nice. It does have Aftermath, but that's okay. Okay, so my connection went out and didn't record the very end of that. But as you can tell, I did beat the Galactic Gym Leader. Or not Galactic, but uh, just the Galactic Boss. Thank you, everybody, for watching episode 5. We unfortunately lost three more Pokemon in this one, but we are going to keep pressing forward. Lots of great encounters still left, and we still have lots of really good ones on the team. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.